a new home, a new life. So many things changing. Sights and sounds, new smells, strange food, complicated rules for living. Yet one thing remains the same, your love for your family. Mothers, sons, wives, and brothers. You want them all to be happy and healthy. We can help. Let us navigate this new world with you. Together, we can build healthier families and a healthier you. You waited nine long months for your precious little baby to get here, but now that he's here, you may feel unsure about how to take care of him. That is a normal feeling for first-time parents and for parents who have already raised children. The job of caring for a baby can feel overwhelming at first. If you've never held a newborn before, there are two important things you should know. First, before you hold the baby, always wash your hands. A baby's immune system is not very strong yet, so he can get sick from germs easily. Be sure your hands are clean and never put your fingers in a baby's mouth. Second, always support the baby's head and neck when you hold her. She doesn't yet have enough muscles to hold her head up by herself. Cradle her head when you carry her and support her head when you lay her down. If the thought of dirty diapers makes you want to run and hide, get ready. Newborn babies need a diaper change about 10 times a day. That's more than 3,000 diapers before her first birthday. It is important to change a baby's diaper when it is wet or after a bowel movement to prevent diaper rashes and infections. Before you start to change a baby's diaper, make sure you have everything you need within arm's reach. Always keep one hand on the baby and never leave the baby on the changing table unattended, even with the safety belt fastened around him. If you forget an item, pick the baby up and take him with you to get it. For the first few weeks, your newborn will need a sponge bath until his belly button and circumcision sites heal. Lay the baby on a safe, flat surface in a warm room and cover him with a dry towel. Start by washing the baby's eyes and face, then shampoo her hair. Uncover one part of her body at a time as you wash her, working from the neck down to the toes. Wash her bottom last. Make sure to dry each area immediately after washing it and then cover it with a dry towel. Do not cover the baby's face. Use a baby wipe or a cotton swab dipped in rubbing alcohol to carefully clean around the belly button. If you see pus or redness, or if the baby cries when you touch the cord stump, talk to your health care provider. If your baby boy is circumcised, clean the site with warm water during baths and after each diaper change. Spread a dab of petroleum jelly on him to keep his diaper from sticking to him. If he has redness, swelling, or pus-filled blisters, contact your health care provider. Babies swallow air when they are eating, so they will need to be burped frequently. Hold the baby upright with his head over your shoulder. Support his head and gently pat him on the back. Burp your baby again when he is finished eating and keep him sitting up for 10 to 15 minutes. Newborn babies sleep about 16 hours a day, but they may only sleep for an hour or two at a time. Don't expect your baby to sleep through the night until she is about three months old. In fact, if she stays asleep for more than four hours at a time, you may need to wake her up to feed her. Until their first birthday, all healthy babies should be put to sleep on their backs, even at nap time. Babies should never sleep in an adult bed or on a couch. They should be placed in a safe sleep environment in a crib with a firm mattress and a fitted sheet. Remove all blankets, pillows, toys, crib bumper pads, and other items. These things can cover a baby's face and put her in danger of suffocation. Now you know how to hold your baby, burp her, change her, and bathe her, but perhaps one of the most important things you can do to help your baby grow healthy is to bond with her. A baby needs your love expressed through touch, talking, singing, and smiling. You can begin bonding with your baby immediately after he is born by holding him against your skin or initiating breastfeeding. Your touch will comfort your baby and help him feel secure. Your baby will love to listen to you talk and sing. You may find that your touch, talking or singing, also comforts your baby when she cries. All babies cry. They cry when they're hungry, bored, scared, sick, need to burp, need a diaper change, or just want to be held. Crying is your baby's way of communicating with you. The more time you spend with your newborn, the more you will come to understand his language. You will be able to respond more quickly to his needs, and he will cry less often. Caring for an infant may seem overwhelming at first, but before long you will be bathing, diapering, and comforting your baby with ease, and you will find more time to enjoy her smiles and coos as she grows up happier and healthier. 
working together to build healthier families and a healthier you.